Hi, I'm Chris, and welcome to the next episode of JS A Day. So there's two controls, and our almost customary input and output meters. So you've got the frequency and width. Now, frequency is, in this case, not necessarily what you would expect. It's not anything to do with the frequency of the signal that you're feeding it. It's to do with the frequency of how frequently it actually pans from left to right. And the width control is basically controlling how how wide it, pa it, pa it pans, whether it goes to the extremes or not. So for something different from drums today, I've got a, a pad sound to demonstrate this one on today. It sounds all right, but let's see if it makes it any more interesting with adding ping pong pan on. Okay, that sounds pretty cool. What happens if we change the frequency to a lot higher? Very different sort of effect. Take it down to somewhere in between. If I put it back down to, oh, there you go, it's the lowest it can go is zero. So if I put it to zero point two, say, but then have 100% width, how does that sound? Very cool, very easy to use, and definitely something to use to add some movement to your tracks. Hope you found that helpful, and see you tomorrow for the next one.